Now, a former Brexit activist is alleging that Vote Leave, the official Brexit campaign, broke legal spending limits during the EU referendum. During the campaign, Shamir Sani worked at Believe, a pro-Brexit group aimed at young voters. According to his account, Vote Leave gave £625,000 to Believe. Believe then gave the money to a Canadian company called Aggregate IQ for digital campaigning. According to Mr Sani, Vote Leave instructed Believe to spend the money on Aggregate IQ, and if that's true, that may count under Vote Leave's expenses, which would mean they'd spent more than they were legally allowed to. But several key figures at Vote Leave have said the claims are false. The Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, has tweeted that the account is utterly ludicrous and Vote Leave won fair and square and legally. Well, I'm joined here in the studio by the man behind those allegations, Shamir Sani, and the pro-Brexit Conservative MP, Crispin Blunt. Welcome to both of you. Um, Shamir, let's just go through your account again. Um, when did you start working at Believe, the pro-Brexit youth campaign, and what did you do there? Well, I started working for Believe specifically as a Vote Leave as you group in April. I started at Vote Leave in March. Of 2016. Of 2016. Of 2016. Yeah. And when did Vote Leave give you £625,000? 10 days before the referendum. 10 days before the referendum. So the key issue mm -hmm. um, for our viewers is whether Vote Leave controlled that money right. after they gave it to you. Because mm -hmm. under the rules, uh, you, you are allowed to donate money yes. to other yes. groups as long as it's a genuine donation mm -hmm. and there are no strings attached mm -hmm. um, and they didn't continue controlling the money. What's your evidence that they did control and say to you, this is how you have to spend the money? Well, um, this is the whole point of the sort of inv uh, evidence that we sort of compiled, which is like a 40-page document of emails, uh, WhatsApp conversations, Facebook conversations, um, uh, you know, groups that we were all part mm -hmm. of discussing uh, what uh, believe stuff, how we, when we would get donations, how we, would, how we would spend it. Now, with AIQ specifically, it's the the reason why I have gone through this is to sort of to get the people at Vote Leave um, investigated for who um, was it specifically that told Darren Grimes to spend the 625 Darren Grimes pounds. being the person who ran Was Believe. chairman of Believe. So chairman I was treasurer and secretary yep. of Believe and he was chairman. And uh, so the day that I found out that we were getting 625,000 pounds, I asked Darren, I said, okay, can I get some money, you know, travel expenses paid for? I was a volunteer, so, um, you know, those are the sort of questions you ask. Can I get food covered? Um, Etc. But he said, no, I don't think so. The only way for them to give it to us is if they give it to AIQ. Right. And so which is why this whole sort of process has been so grueling for Darren particularly is because he's been sort of under fire for all of this when uh, from the start it, was, it wasn't him making those, those huge decisions. Right. But do you have clear written evidence? You say you've compiled all mm -hmm. these pages, but at the moment it sounds mm -hmm. a little bit like mm -hmm. he said... She well, said. yeah. So that's 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 p part of why we're doing this investigation. The important part is coordination, right? Is you under electoral law, you can give as much, you can give a maximum of you know seven hundred thousand mm. pounds to another campaign, but the important part is you can't give it to a campaign that you are advising or instructing, or well, you you, you can give it to a uh, a sort of sister group or a group that's connected as long as they're not but instructed. You, but but what I'm saying is, have you got? the sort of the smoking gun that says you must spend the money in this way and we are telling you to spend it no, uh, with this group you have no, no. job you don't no we don't there's there's the evidence is to do with coordination and how every decision was run through senior members how AIQ was based in the vote leave office how the, I had never heard of AIQ when the decision was made as secretary and treasurer and how Darren had no control over what how that money was spent right I mean you were going to have a press conference today I yes. understand yes is that still going ahead yes definitely yes right 4 p.m. at 4 p.m. Yeah. and you're going to present that evidence no it's lawyers that are going to present that right evidence. Um, well I mean because I'm not relevant no, not not you per evidence. se um, but that is going ahead as far yes. as you're concerned yes. right um, I mean I think there has been some speculation it might not go no, ahead but that no but that's not that's true not um, Crispin Blunt listening to that do you get the sense that though leave cheated the referendum no, I think quite quite the reverse. You've obviously got the issue of the, if, how you interpret the Elections Political Parties and Referendums Act, and that's the job of the Electoral Commission to oversee the process and this relationship between campaigns and uh, the, the lead campaigns and other people in the field uh, who are then working on 
uh, on the same side of the, of the referendum. And you can see the complexity with the amount of money that the political party is allowed to spend as part of, of campaigners, how other groups are allowed to spend it. And we're in that level of, uh, of complexity. I think the key issue for, your, for, the, for the viewers actually is not yeah. the kind of detail of this, that's a proper issue for the Electoral Commission to, to examine, is was the referendum fair. Right. And if there That's if it I'm was asking. unfair, it was in the other way because the Remain side helped themselves to nine point six million pounds worth of government <laughs> expenditure by leafleting the entire country before the referendum. So they gave themselves quite a big head start. Mm. They put the government on one side of the of the question. So this insurgent campaign, which spent less money, had less resources, didn't have the backing of the government, didn't have the backing of the global establishment uh, from Obama downwards mm -hmm. saying you've got to vote you sh you should be voting remain in your in your own interest leave one uphill into the wind right but and if but, it, but 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 on that basis of your argument the logic there is that it, it, if it's all right for remain to have overspent or have had extra help or have had a boost in terms of using the government as mm. as you claim then it's all right for vote leave to have uh, cheated in the same way well no, i don't think it's not right for anybody to cheat the, right. the rules the but, rules but you are sort of the, implying the, the, that actually but the, but the electoral commission appeared to have investigated this particular allegation twice already i just suspect that this new without evidence we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get it we'll, we'll get we'll get it investigated yeah. a, a, again and then there would be the issue about exactly how big a breach it was if it if it, well let's if just take that point are, i mean, I mean the allegations Crispin are Blunt is saying, but, but the strategic position yeah. about is the one about whether the election the referendum was fair between the two sides i would argue that it was actually unfair but it was unfair because of the weight remain took and the help remained helped itself to by from the assistance it had from being the government's position uh, and then helping but, itself to nine right. million pounds worth of but leaflets before is, anyone, everyone else was allowed to get going the point is Shame, it would have made no difference to the outcome of the referendum well I, I don't think it matters i don't think it matters what the outcome of the referendum was this isn't about brexit this is about, quite literally about democracy cheating is cheating there's no, it doesn't matter what the other side did. Look, I'm still a lever, and I've said this again and again that I would vote leave mm. again, but this it has nothing to do with Brexit. This is just a matter of, there is, uh, I'm saying there's cheating happening, it should be investigated. Right. Here's can, the I, evidence. can I just put to you um, information that uh, the BBC has, which mm -hmm. is that a senior figure from Vote Leave um, said that the decision to give the money to Aggregate IQ, this Canadian mm -hmm. digital campaigning company, was an idea that came from Darren Grimes, who was running Believe, the key figure at your organisation, and that you agreed with that. And is that true? No, because I didn't know who AIQ were when Darren told me we were giving it to AIQ. Right. I didn't. I knew I had seen Zach Massingham from AIQ in the office. I didn't know who he was. I was intro to him after Believe had paid him, uh, after the money had been sent to him directly from Vote Leave to AIQ. I went on the internet to search for what AIQ was, and they didn't even have a website then. Should this be? In, it's been investigated broadly by the Electoral Commission twice. I I understand. Um, is this something that should be looked at again because Shamia said this is about cheating and there is a legal dimension to it? If there's new evidence and absolutely it should be uh, looked at by the electoral commissioner, by the information commissioner's office and, and if necessary the police as well. Uh, I think Shamia is right to say you know we have the referendum result, uh, the referendum result is the referendum result uh, but elections and referenda need to be conducted with integrity and if the integrity of this referendum uh, is uh, in question then we need to to learn from that and people shouldn't be able to get away from cheating. If people have broken uh, the laws they should be answerable for that. What do you say? It's one for the Electoral Commission, clearly, but it's not, um, I don't feel, I, I honestly don't think that most people are sat there thinking there was there was cheating in, in the referendum that, that changed the result. We have the result. The campaigns were two years ago. The most important thing now is to focus on delivering the right result. And in fact, until this, we were actually going to be talking about the, about the you know, David Davis and, and what, what happened in, in terms of the negotiations and what happens next. And it's much more important mm -hmm. for us to focus on that. We will be covering uh, the press conference, no doubt, uh, later this afternoon. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you.